Hello and welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is your opportunity to send in your Bible questions. If you have a question, send it to me. I'll give you the email address at the end of the broadcast. I'll do my best to give you a Bible answer. And please do keep your questions Bible related. A question here that we have today is, is this. Is it proper to praise God when I do not feel like it? Is it right to praise God when my heart's not in it? It is right to praise God even when you don't feel like it because God is always worthy of praise. And by the way, we don't praise God because we are worthy to praise God. We praise God because he is worthy to be praised. Praise occurs in heaven 24 hours a day, seven days a week, nonstop. Around the throne of God, there is praise. The 24 elders never stop praising God. The four living creatures never stop praising God, the Bible says. But getting back to this matter of your feelings, you know, <clears throat> I was just reading this earlier today. Psalm 108, verse 1. O oh God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise even with my inmost being. If your heart is fixed on God and you're concentrating on God, praise will happen. And it will be spontaneous. You don't have to teach a true Christian to know how to praise God. When you think about Jesus, when your heart is fixed on him, on his sinless life, on how he gave up omnipresence, confined himself to a human body, lived a sinless life, went to the Garden of Gethsemane after doing countless miracles and prayed, not my will, but thy will be done. Suffered so much anticipating the cross and bearing our sins that he shed great drops of blood. When you focus on Jesus, his person and his work, and then you think about the cross and how he suffered so much to pay for your sin, became the Lamb of God, praise will happen if you're saved and it will be spontaneous. I'll never forget one time I went down to a secluded park, actually that I grew up playing in as a little boy. And it's, it's secluded, so it's a great place to walk and pray, and I used to do it all the time. And one day I decided that I was going to just praise God. And so I started praising God. I was the only one in the park. And... Uh, I felt such condemnation, not an audible voice, but certainly a voice in my mind saying, you're not worthy to praise God. Who do you think you are? And of course, I knew that voice, where that was coming from. And I stopped, and I kid you not, it's a good thing nobody was in that park, because I said it out loud. I said, Satan, I know I'm not worthy to praise God. God knows I'm not worthy to praise him. I know I'm not worthy to praise him. I'm not praising him because I'm worthy. I'm praising him because he's worthy. Boy, and that shut, that shut his mouth. And I went on and I started praising God. That's the key. Focus on Jesus. But even if on those occasions you don't feel like it, he's still worthy of it. It's about him, not about you, not about me. If you have a question, please send it to scripture verse by verse at gmail.com.